Hey there everyone, so I actually want to shoot, um, it's going to be, I think it's going to be a controversial video and that's okay because that's what, um, you know, that's what dialogue and that's what discussion is here for. Like my buddy Caleb Heyer says, disagreement is not dishonor. And so there's an interesting, um, there's an interesting thought process and there's an interesting mindset around the topic of wealth and riches in the kingdom. Um, there's really two sides, the prosperity gospel, and then there's the you must be poor to be spiritual side. And I almost think a large majority of especially the charismatic movement is more on the you have to be broke to be spiritual thing, um, while there is still people on the other side, on the prosperity side. And so, you know, I want to challenge some of, some of that. I want to challenge some of the mindset that you are more spiritual the less money that you have. Because in the Bible, when, when a lot of people refer to the rich young ruler, where Jesus told the rich young man um, to sell everything he has and to follow me. Well, that is only one time in the entire scripture where God, where Jesus himself told anybody to sell all that you have. Versus in 2 Timothy, either 1st or 2nd Timothy, I actually think it's 1st Timothy, um, Jesus, Paul, writing to Timothy, says for the rich people to enjoy their wealth, to be generous, be generous with those, be gracious in heart, uh, but to enjoy their wealth, not to sell it and give it and give everything away. So, so there's an interesting paradigm there. But there's one verse I want to talk about. Um, it's in Luke, actually. This is super interesting because a lot of a lot of the body of Christ is bad with finances, just bad. Don't budget well. Uh, don't spend money well. Don't save money well. They're just bad with finances. And so this this is a very, very interesting uh, scripture here. This is from Jesus himself. He says, If then you haven't been trustworthy in handling worldly wealth, who will trust you with true riches? And right before that, it's Luke 16, chapter uh, Luke chapter 16, verse 10, right before that. The one who is faithful with little, we all know this verse, the one who is faithful with little will also be faithful in much. The one who is dishonest in very little is also dishonest in much. If then you haven't been trustworthy in handling worldly wealth, who will trust you with true riches? So the true riches, as we know, is the wisdom of God, the things of the kingdom of God. But what Jesus himself says here, which is, if you can't handle the worldly things, if you're not good at stewarding money, why would God entrust you with the, the, the true riches, the true riches of his kingdom? That's an interesting paradigm. It's a shift. It's completely different than uh, what a lot of us are taught at church. If you can't handle material things, and this is Jesus talking, why would he trust you with true riches? So we see constantly over and over again, those men of influence, um, a Bill Johnson, a Chris Valentin, uh, Todd White, these are men who have handled and stewarded their material things well. You know, not a lot, I don't think a lot of people know this, but you know, 2000, I want to say it was 2011, Bill Johnson doesn't take a, a salary from Bethel, but in 2011, Bill Johnson Ministries paid him over, I want to say it was over $300,000 because he stewarded it well when he had nothing. And God has, has, has turned that into something, turned that into influence, turned that into not only has he stewarded the material things well, but now he has true riches where they're making an impact on the entire world through Bethel, through the hub that is in Redding, California. And so, so my challenge for you is steward the material things well. That way God can entrust you with true riches. And so, um, you know, I want to be discussing a lot of these things, poverty, riches, and wealth, over the next few few weeks as I do a personal study on it myself. And so, uh, so I love you guys. Everybody have a tremendous day. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.